YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I have a bonus video for you guys. If you've been subscribed for a little bit, or if you've read the description of my channel, you probably know that I post every two weeks, but I've thrown in an extra video in there, and so I hope you guys like it. I'm going to be doing a book review of all the books that I read in 2016. So, funny story, about a week into January 2016, I heard about some YouTuber whose New Year's resolution was to read 20 books. Now, that was kind of a foreign thing to me, because normally my mom would have to force me to read, like, three books a year. I was not much of a reader, did not enjoy it. But for some reason, I decided that would be a fun idea, and I ended up realizing that I was, like, a book lover, and read all 20 ahead of schedule. <laughs> and so the books that I read, some of them I don't have with me, because I borrowed them from the library. But the ones I do, I will show you them. The Power of Right Believing by Joseph Prince. America, Imagine a World Without Her by Dinesh D'Souza. It Is About Islam by Glenn Beck. Life After Death, The Evidence by Dinesh D'Souza. The Witch Doctor's Wife by Tamar Myers. Grace Revolution by Joseph Prince. Conform by Glenn Beck. Miracles and Massacres by Glenn Beck. Beautiful Girlhood by Karen Andreola. The Evolution of Calpurnia Tate by Jacqueline, 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 I don't know, Jacqueline, right, that sounds right, we'll just go with that, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, Jacqueline Kelly, God Forsaken by Dinesh D'Souza, Being George Washington by Glenn Beck, A Return to Modesty by Wendy Shalit, The End of Racism by Dinesh D'Souza, Legacy of Freedom by George Charles Roche, Roche, Again, another person whose name I cannot pronounce. Roche. Roche. Anyway, he's the third. George Charles Roche the third. What's So Great About America by Dinesh D'Souza. Letters to a Young Conservative by Dinesh D'Souza. Mysticia, The Riddle of Anna Anderson by Peter Kurth. What's So Great About Christianity by Dinesh D'Souza. The Sacred Year by Michael Yankowski. So I had about eight favorites out of all those, and I figured I would just give a review on those because this would be a super long video if I reviewed all 20. Just do the math, like, at least a minute 30 seconds for each book, that would be... that would be a 30 minute video. Shout out to Mary Jane for laying awkwardly in the background this entire time. Not cool. So my first favorite is a book by Dinesh D'Souza that is called America, Imagine a World Without Her. So this is my first book that I read by Dinesh D'Souza, and since then he's been my favorite. But basically this is a book about America, obviously, and the impact that America's had on the world, and vice versa, how it's changed our culture, and um, it goes in depth about our history, kind of revealing stories that people always believed to be true that were not true at all, and stories that some people didn't even know about. Just paints a picture of who America is, what America has done in the world, how the world has influenced America. It's really a great book. I loved it. So the second book on my favorites list was Life After Death, The Evidence by Dinesh D'Souza. Here's my imaginary book. It's at the library. So basically this is a debate about the likelihood of God's existence, about the existence of life after death, obviously, the existence of the human soul. So Dinesh D'Souza, he's very thorough in his explanations, addresses so many questions, so many um, opposing ideas, and kind of shows how the existence of life after death is only likely, but very likely. And so it's a very deep and challenging book that kind of changed the way I viewed everything great book guys, I definitely recommend you read it. So the next book on my list of favorites was Beautiful Girlhood by Karen Andreola. It was originally written by Inhale, but it was revised and expanded by Karen Andreola. I read this when I was like in sixth grade, not very receptive to it, but now that I have read it again, it's really, I realize it's such a great book. It's, it just basically talks about the special calling that women have, especially Christian women, and I definitely recommend that. All girls read it. It's such a great book. Next, we have The Evolution of Calpurnia Tate. So the last time I read this book was actually in third grade, and I was kind of expecting it to be a bit juvenile. I mean, third grade, guys. I read this in third grade. 
but once I started reading it, I realized exactly why it was my favorite. It is such a great book, guys. It's like a very fun and easy to follow story of this um, young girl at the turn of the 20th century, and um, she just discovers her passion for learning about the world around her, for science, nature, and it's really just a wonderful story about ingenuity and innovation, stuff that excites me very much. If you like um, stories like that, you'll definitely like this. So the next favorite of mine is A Return to Modesty by Wendy Shalit. Now this one is definitely one of my favorites. It was so good and I honestly want to reread it again in 2017. Um, the author, Wendy Shelley, she, she discusses modesty in a strictly informative, not like a condemning or um, this is what I believe, you should believe it too sort of way. She gives facts and honestly she never inserts her opinion in here, um, her traditions, her beliefs, uh, nowhere to be found in here. This is strictly informative and basically um, discusses the history and evolution of modesty and how the view of women changed alongside the view of modesty. They go hand in hand. I definitely recommend that all guys, all girls read it. It's such a great book. So uh, the next favorite of mine is... <laughs> I couldn't find it. Is The End of Racism by Dinesh D'Souza. It's basically an in-depth view of race, race relations, culture, slavery, issues like that, and how they have affected and currently impact our world view today. It just it, it discusses a lot of areas, anything regarding race, anything regarding cultures and peoples. It's a very great book, very relevant in today's world. I definitely recommend you read it. The next favorite of mine was Legacy of Freedom by George Charles Roach III. Still don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I'm going to say Roach. Um, so this is a very deep and thorough book. And basically talking about the history of philosophy, how people uh, you know, question things on a very deep level. You know, the ancient Greeks, when they asked the question, what is life, what is truth, stuff like that. Um, it also shows the relationship between divinity and humanity and how that has changed throughout the years, how people have viewed wisdom and knowledge, intellect. And how they've how religion has tied into that. It's really, just a great view of history that goes beyond dates and people. It goes into the mindsets of people at that time, and it's a really good book. Definitely recommend you read it. The last book that I read in 2016 was *The Sacred Year* by Michael Yankowski. Finished it a few days ago, so it's fresh in my mind. So basically, this is the story about how the author Michael Yankowski. Um, how he began to live a more intentional, a more connected, and a simpler life, and how he ultimately ended up living a more human life. You know, in today's world we are so connected to everything, yet we are connected to nothing. You know, we are like obsessed with things, yet we have no true appreciation for such things. And so, um, definitely changed my view of spirituality and just humanity in general. It's a great book. Super fun to read, unexpectedly powerful, but I definitely recommend you read it. That's about it, guys. All the books that I read in 2016, they were all great. Super glad I read them, and I recommend all of them to you. Comment below what books you plan on reading in 2017. I know I've planned a lot. I have a huge list already, and I'm excited to get started on that. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in one week. Bye!